Imagine half a billion dollars worth of cocaine. That is how much the Coast Guard is offloading this morning at the 10th Avenue Marine Terminal in Barrio Logan. Hi there, I'm Virginia Chow. I'm Jason Martinez. It was seized over the past four months off the coast of South and Central America. And 10 News reporter Jim Patton joins us live from the Marine Terminal. And Jim, this is about more than just keeping drugs off the streets. You know, Jason, the Coast Guard says this is really about stabilizing uh, countries. They say if you look at El Salvador, Honduras, some of the worst murder rates in the world there because of the illicit drug trade. And this vessel here now considers the drugs that were unloaded off of this craft as out of that conflict. Today we're going to be offloading a little over 36,000 pounds of cocaine. Pallet after pallet, nearly 30 of them loaded with bales of cocaine seized by the U.S. Coast Guard cutter Weishi and five of her sister ships over the last four months, primarily off the South American coast. So far in fiscal year 17, we've interdicted 230,000 pounds of cocaine worth over $3 billion. One of those seizures taking place just last week, a camouflage boat with four smugglers on board and 5,500 pounds of cocaine. The way she's sending out its interceptor boats in the dark of night. They approached covertly and were able to uh, overpower and control, get control of that vessel without use of force. Ship's Captain Jim Passarelli says a record 440,000 pounds of cocaine was seized by the guard last year, and they may be on track to take down even more this year. The increased flow, the increased interdictions are a sign of the increased production that we're seeing in South America. We expect that trend to continue. And of all that cocaine headed for the U.S., the captain says only about 20 percent is being stopped. Now, as for the smugglers that are caught in these operations, depending on the agreement with the country in South America, some are returned to their home countries for prosecution. Others are brought back to the U.S. The drugs themselves will be processed by the DEA for evidence and then will be destroyed. From the 10th Avenue Terminal, Jim Patton, 10 News.